Hello everyone, my name is Riley. This is going to be a different kind of video today. Usually I post videos on this channel when I am regressed and the videos are pertaining to age regression most of the time, but I have been away for about a month and I feel like I owe you guys some sort of explanation as to why I've been gone. To put it simply, my mental health has been very bad. April is a tough month for me, particularly the end of April. This week and last week are the really bad weeks, but starting at the beginning of April, I just, I fell into this very awful depression. I couldn't get out of bed, like there was just garbage surrounding me because I couldn't get up to throw it away. And if you follow my main channel, you know um, I talk more about the mental health issues that I deal with and a lot of my symptoms were acting up. And then about a week ago is when I started kind of getting those trauma memories back because it is the anniversary of some trauma that happened to me, um, some trauma that pertains to age regression as well. So I think that had something to do with why I haven't been around. I haven't regressed much this month at all, which is really surprising because over the last couple of months I've been regressing quite a bit. And I think, and it's not for lack of wanting to regress, I think it's just my brain's way of kind of protecting me because I'm in a more vulnerable mindset when I'm regressed and then if I'm regressed and then intrusive thoughts about trauma start coming up, it's a pain in the butt to deal with. It can be, it can be pretty difficult. And I have been struggling, I'm not gonna lie. I have not been doing well. I've been going to therapy, I've been taking my meds, but nothing seems to be really helping. I'm slowly starting to get back into feeling like myself. Don't get me wrong, I still feel really, really bad. I have enough energy to sit down and I feel okay enough to sit down and film this video, which is saying something because I haven't felt that for the last month. I don't know, it's it's complicated, it's weird. Trauma is hard, mental illness is hard. I really need to do some cleaning. I had my apartment all clean and then I kind of just hit this brick wall with the mental illness and it prevented me from doing anything and keeping up after myself. So over the next couple of days, if I'm feeling like I am today, I am hoping that I can start working in bite-sized pieces just to like, you know, pick up the trash, put stuff away, and I'm sure I'll be able to get it done within a couple of days, and it's not that big of a deal. Things have sucked, <laughs> honestly, they've been, they've been pretty, pretty difficult. I wish there was an easier way for me to deal with it. I wish there was something I could do. But what I can say is that even though I haven't had the energy to film videos or be able to regress, I have absolutely wanted to. I have missed YouTube and filming videos and editing and uploading so much, so much. I've missed it so much. I'm glad that I'm feeling like I can get back to it because this is, I mean, this is what gives me the most joy out of life. And I know that might be stupid or silly, but I don't really have a lot of things that I look forward to that I really enjoy. Doing YouTube is definitely one of them. So that is really cool. You know, it's interesting because usually even when I take breaks from YouTube due to my mental health, I'm usually still pretty active on social media, but I haven't really been on my Instagram or my Twitter much. I've kind of been keeping it low key, just browsing Reddit. And it's been nice, but I kind of want to get back into the community. I don't know why, but like YouTube feels fine. Like YouTube feels like I can do that and I'm really excited to do it. Going back to social media right this second just seems very overwhelming. It seems very, very overwhelming. And I don't want to subject myself to that kind of overwhelm, especially right now when I'm already dealing with a bunch of other stuff and then we have quarantine on top of it, which I'm sure you all are dealing with as well. That makes things harder, not being able to get out when you just wanna get out. So I'm hoping 
overall that I can get back to normal soon. I'm hoping the world gets back to normal soon also. But I do have like the slightest like regression-y feeling in my brain and in my heart right now, which leads me to believe that coming up soon I'll be regressing again more often and being able to make content. I prefer making content for this channel, the regression content, not like the story times and stuff, but like the color with me is the regress with me is just all the other videos. I really like to be genuinely regressed when I film them. It's fun, it's a good activity, and I enjoy it, and I like showing that genuine side of my regression. Um, I think it's pure, and I think it's important to showcase that. I totally just lost my train of thought. I cannot remember what I just said. I've been dealing with that a lot lately, too. I've been dealing with memory issues, and trauma issues, and just other mental health issues, and it's been interesting to say the least and I'm coping I'm still here so that's a good sign and the weather is starting to get nicer it was like 70 degrees today which is awesome which means I can spend some more time outside which I think will be really beneficial to my mental health that also means I can do more outside content like vlogs and things not really around people but like out in nature and just being outside being outside is good and we are allowed to do that so I don't know that's what's going on and then I'm also dealing with like money stress on top of everything else and that's just a pain and I'm just annoyed but that's about it I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update the next video you see from me will be a regression video I promise it's not gonna be a video like this and hopefully I'll be back I'm not promising anything, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to be back for the foreseeable future. I'm assuming none of you really enjoyed this video, but if you would like to see more of my content specifically about age regression, you can subscribe over here. I try to post a couple of times a week when I'm not taking a break, but if you would like to keep up with me in between uploads, you can always follow me over on Instagram, which is at crayons and pencils, or over on Twitter, which is at crayon kiddo. I also have a Ko-Fi linked down in the description where you can leave me a tip for the price of a coffee and I'll be honest with you that would really help me out right now so very much very very much appreciated and you'll get a shout out in the next video I film. I think that's it. I love you guys a lot and I will see you soon. Goodbye.